you've spoken for decades and thousands of speeches. I'm sure you probably Indeed. have the number in your head, but um, it's never been the same speech twice. You tailor your speech each time you speak to a new audience. Mm -hmm. How do you go about doing that? Uh, I'm not sure it can be very helpful. I mean, I do it the obvious way. Uh, thanks to my mother, I'm a reader. And so I inhale uh, any information whatsoever. Uh, I gave a speech to a group of home builders a few weeks ago. And the speech was sponsored by the publication organization that does magazines like Builder. And so I called my contact and I said, send me 100 magazines. Now, I didn't read 100 magazines, but I thumbed through them. Uh, you know, in a more formal way, I always have a, a conference call with a client, and I always ask them, either at the end or in the middle, exactly the same question. And you know, I, I do it in a pretty straightforward way, and my comment is, you're paying me an incredible amount of money to come and give this speech. What three things would you like me to have said that when it was over, you said, hey, we actually got a good deal? I said, I'm not your shill. I may disagree with you about them and change the tone of them, but tell me what a win would be. Give me a, draw me a picture of a win. And in nine cases out of 10, you know, they give a hell of a lot of thought to that. And so that you know, gives incredible guidelines. The, the part that's most important and maybe least useful in explaining is I've got my material, obviously, and I'm going to tailor my material, but I'm not going to also throw out everything I've done for the last 30 years. It's going to be constructed consistent with the things that I want to do.